Hello RSU faculty, this is Troy Gerard, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to link your course in Cengage to Blackboard. Coming up. The first thing that you want to do when pairing a course or connecting a course in Blackboard to a course that you have out on Cengage MindTap is you want to locate the Cengage MindTap uh, LTI tool. This tool is found on the left-hand side of your screen on the home page or the content page of your course. You're going to find books and tools. It says view course and institution tools. We're going to go and open that link. The next thing is a menu that will pop up on the right-hand side of your screen. You see that I have Cengage and I have McGraw-Hill Connect. These are tools that I've used in this course. Uh, if you're doing this for the first time, you will not see these at the top. You want to go to Browse All Course Tools at the bottom of the page. Once you select that, you will see Cengage on the top left-hand side of your screen. You want to select that icon. And the first time that you click this, it's going to ask you to share your information with Cengage and Blackboard to allow them to communicate with each other. You want to go ahead and hit uh, Agree and Launch. Uh, once you agree and launch, it's going to ask you to sign in to your Cengage account. Okay. So once you've signed into your account, you'll see there's three options here. And I want to show you over on my Cengage account. Uh, on Cengage.com. I have several courses that I've built for this particular, um, you know, example. I have cost accounting, I have legal environment, I have fundamentals of financial management. So these are courses that I have pre-built in my uh, Cengage account. They're Cengage MindTap uh, courses. And I want to go ahead and connect my Blackboard course to one of these courses out here. So coming back to this menu, uh, we are going to select Homework Platforms plus eBook. This is gonna be any of the Cengage products, including Cengage MindTap, uh, Applia, CNow, CNow2, WebAssign, any of these tools that Cengage offer, it's going to be under a Homework Platform. If you are wanting to uh, only have an ebook. You're wanting to select this add ebook, and that simply just creates a link for students to go to that book uh, and, and use that resource. It's not going to allow deep integrated links or links that you can link directly to chapter three in the book. It's only going to just open up the book itself. Uh, so, what we're wanting to do is add homework platform. So, we will add that. The next uh, menu, we're going to see all of the resources that are deployed to our tool. If you go down to this list and do not see your resource, the one that you want to use, you want to reach out to your Cengage rep and tell them what resource you want to be deployed to the RSU Cengage LTI tool. Okay, So you'll contact them and set that up where they will deploy it. It will show here in this option, we can then search for our course. I have already done that for my legal environment, for my fundamentals of financial management. So I go and find my resource that I see, and I have a link over here that says link to course. Now, both of these I have linked to other courses, but that's okay. I wanna go ahead and link one of my sections to this particular resource. So I select link to course, and then it gives me the option to create a new course. Again, this is gonna be creating a new course in Cengage MindTap, in Cengage.com. Uh, you can copy from an existing course. That's what I'm gonna be doing this morning, uh, is copying for an existing course. You can copy from a course key or linked to an existing course. So say you've built out the shell in Cengage and you wanna just simply pair that to your course, you can do that. Or if you're wanting to make a copy, a new section in Cengage, you can do that as well. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this section one of fundamentals here. 
I'm going to title it uh, the title of my course. This is going to be your section that you're teaching. Um, maybe it's for that particular term. So maybe I want to title this uh, fall uh, 2022 uh, Fundamentals of Management. I'll just quickly copy and paste this here into this uh, window. So I can title it. I can then say that this is being offered uh, August 15th. If I want students to access this before, I can simply select what uh, date that I want. And then also, what is the end date of this, uh, this section here, this course? So I'll make that for December 16th. You can select your time zone and you're going to hit continue. So now it's going to ask you, what is the gradebook setting? What do we want to move from Cengage MindTap over into Blackboard? Do we want to add the activity score or the overall score as a whole? Uh, I always go with the add the activity score. This allows us to have individual grades within our gradebook for individual MindTap activities. And that's the one that I recommend for our faculty to use just so you have one grade book. It all lines up in Blackboard uh, so you don't have students jumping between platforms. So go ahead and hit Add Activity Score and Continue. It's going to do its thing. It's going to create that copy over on our Cengage, uh, our Cengage account. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is this is the root link to that particular course. OK, so this is in Blackboard. It's saying, hey, what is this link? We're moving it from Cengage MindTap into Blackboard. What do I need to do with this? I can simply select this and say that I want it to be an existing course. Maybe I don't want to have a category. It is a link. It is not a gradable item. So then I just want to say no category uh, and submit here at the bottom. It shuffles the screens around, and now we are paired to this particular course, okay? So we went through books and tools. We found the Cengage. Now that we've selected it, we can see that it's here up at the top, and we've connected this course to this particular resource, okay? So now I want to take this step a uh, further here, and I want to add assignments from Connect into Blackboard. That means I want students to log into Blackboard, come down here to Module 1, Module 2, wherever you want those assignments, and click on an activity, and it moves them right to that activity in Cengage MindTap. I also want to have a gradebook item land here with all of the due dates and all of the settings that I have from Cengage. We're going to simply do this through the same link that we have over here in the books and tools, or if I want to do individual items one at a time, I can go to where I want this item to be and find where we can insert a link and hit the plus sign and hit content market. Okay, so if we wanted to hit content market and add one assignment here between module discussion and module learning activity, we can, or if we want to move in multiple items and have them land at the bottom of our page, we can do that through the books and tools. This is the one that if you're wanting to move all of your quizzes, all of your tests, or all of your assignments over, you can do that. So I'm going to hit send gauge here. It's going to take me to the same page that we've seen before with the homework and the ebook only. And now it allows me to select content. Uh, again, this is connected to our section that we just created. And we're going to select content. It's going to open up all of our content here in the menu. You can see that we had it titled Fall 2022 Fundamentals of Financial Management. We have our course orientation and our chapters. We have a selection of content here, as well as items. How many items? a list of items underneath that category, and it allows us to add it to our gradebook. So I'm just going to do this for chapter one. I'm going to expand this. I have learn, uh, learn it. I have study it. I have apply it. I have this uh, assignment here. 
I can select this over on the right. And I want to make sure that I'm adding this to my grade book so I can do that as well. If I do the apply it, you can see that I have another assignment over there. I can select this and I can also add that to my grade book. This is going to put an individual link to each one of these as well as an item in our grade book. We can see at the bottom here that we have two assignments selected. If I want to have a reading chapter, I can have a reading chapter here. I can select this whole category. I can select the individual item. You can see that reading is not a gradable item. That's because it's not set to be a gradable item in our Cengage MindTap platform. So now I'm wanting to move over these three items. I've selected two to be a grade book and one to be a reading, and I hit continue. Now it's going to take us to a page that says, hey, what is this? Blackboard is trying to understand what is going on here. We're moving things from MindTap, and Blackboard says, hey, I need to know if this is an assignment or just a reading, and we can go to our chapter one. We know that this one is an assignment. This one is an assignment. This one's a reading, so I'm not going to categorize it. And down here at the bottom, I want to move these into my existing category. This is a category that I have set in Blackboard, and I'm going to say that it's an assignment. Okay, so now we've selected our category. I want to put your attention to uh, these categories here. You are wanting to make sure that these categories are set in Blackboard. So that way, when you move things over from Cengage, you're telling it to be in the category within Blackboard. A lot of us have probably built these categories over in Cengage MindTap, and we want to simply move them over. And so what I recommend to do is go into your Cengage platform, as we did, and only select uh, assignments first or only select quizzes. And that way we can select one category here and we can select what we're moving over. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have the option to where we can select multiple and have multiple categories. So the best rule of thumb is to go into this with the intention that I'm going to have all of these assignments uh, moved over and then I'm gonna go back for the quizzes and then I'll go back for the tests, et cetera. So we can categorize it all in one go, all in one chunk, okay? So I've done chapters one here, the two assignments, and I have my reading. I've told it that it was an assignment. I'm gonna hit submit. And now it's thinking it's gonna do its thing. It's gonna refresh the screen. We can go down to the bottom of our course, and we can now see that we have the main link that we created at the at the beginning of this. We can move this to the top if we want to. This is going to be our registration link. It's going to be our core link. We can even put this into our start here menu if we want to put that down to our course materials. And we can show that to our students. Now that's just a main link students could go to to get over to Cengage for the first time. This is also a link that we can create for the first day program. So if you were using first day in this course, then you can use this link here for your students. And I'll have another video on the first day uh, you know, process. So I've moved that link there. I can come back down here to the bottom. I have these two assignments. I wanna move them into module one. I simply select the arrows and drag it where I would like to go. And I'm gonna put this into module one here. This is an assignment, and I'm going to put it down right where I said I was going to and make it visible to the students. So what this did is it created a deep integrated link, as they call it. So now that when a student clicks this chapter one assignment, it will open up a window and it will move them right to Cengage MindTap. They will sign in. They will go directly to their class. It's for the first time it's showing me what the book is, but you can see that now I'm in chapter one assignment and it's allowing me to attempt this as the student. I can go in and I can complete this. When I'm done, I close out of this and I can go back to my Blackboard um, 
when I hit submit, it will take me back to the Blackboard. This chapter one assignment overview, we can then see that it's in our grade book. We have them up here. And now this is a gradable item within our grade book. The points were set in MindTap. The, the, the category was set in Blackboard. And so we can now go through and systematically move things over. I said that I wanted assignments first. I can then go back to Cengage through that Books and Tools link. I can then select content. I can move over a quiz. If I want to uh, you know, have a chapter quiz, I can study it. I can have these things here. I can move over PowerPoints that they offer. Any of the attempts, any of the uh, settings, it's going to move over with it. So I want to have that all set up, um, you know, in Cengage MindTap. And I'll be able to move content into Blackboard. We have one grade book. We have one area where students can access their assignments through Blackboard. We have one place where they can go and have the first day link where they're registering for MindTap all in Blackboard and everything is kosher. So when a student completes an assignment over here in the course itself, uh, all of the grades will move over into Blackboard. We can see I have that new course under my courses here. We can see that it's linked to our LMS. We can go directly to that course if we want to through our Cengage, or we can go through that link um, in our course itself. We can do some edits if we needed to on here and then simply move the links over to Cengage. I hope this video was helpful. If you need any additional help with your Blackboard course, feel free to reach out to me or go to help.blackboard.com. Thanks for watching.